This is the medic. Real name, Dr. Ludwig. Job, Dr. Assisted Homicide. Though, uh, I do have to question the legitimacy of the, the doctor part of both of those. So when I asked you guys last time who you wanted to see next, Medic definitely seemed to have the majority. And that means that this time, we'll be looking at the history of the Medic. Our quack doctor. Sorry, Trevor from Two Fort. Maybe some other time. And just to point this out one more time, in case you haven't seen the other two videos in the series, this will primarily be about the history of the actual character rather than in-game stuff. We'll start with the days of concept art. Medic was, obviously enough, always designed to look like some kind of doctor or scientist. Basically, all of his early designs had him with some kind of lab coat and rubber gloves. Early versions of the design that we're more used to usually show Medic with a stethoscope, different arm patches, different weapons, and more noticeably graying hair on the sides. But overall, not too much has changed. The Medic is voiced by Robin Atkin Downs, and he also does the voice lines of the Archimedes the Undying Halloween item. Archimedes, the one the brains! Thank you, Archimedes. And he does a whole lot of other non-TF2 things. Downs has probably done the most voiceover work of any of the main TF2 cast. A lot of relatively minor roles, but there are some other big ones. I mean, who could forget Downs' role as Shark Diner number 2 in the Shark Tale video game? Now that's iconic. I'd say check out his IMDB, you'll, you'll probably recognize some of his other work. He also even redubbed the unused Meet the Medic outtakes in Medic's voice, which is... which is pretty cool. Now, I had to get it to the battlefield, where it was needed most. With my breakthroughs, I could do in seconds what would take other doctors months. I could take men to the peak of hell and beyond. I could make gods. We don't really know much about Medic's past. For the most part, it's kind of a mystery. We do know that one of his patients woke up with their skeleton missing, and that's how he lost his medical license. Well, his bio from the website does say that he lacks any sort of verifiable formal training in medicine, so I would be fairly surprised if Medic actually went to medical school or actually had a real medical license. Maybe they took his fake one from him, or maybe it was real. Who knows? Now let's talk about Nazis! Oh no. So, Medic is... German, and probably somewhere in his 40s, and with the game taking place in the late 1960s and early 1970s, he would have most likely been of fighting age during World War II. Now obviously some world events unfolded quite differently in the TF2 universe, but we do know that World War II happened, and we do know that there were Nazis, both according to the Soldier's Bio. There are no real hints to Medic's exact age, but I'd say he's probably generally around the same age as Soldier, if not older. And Soldier did fight during World War II, so it's certainly possible that Medic did too. However, there was this rumor that someone at Valve specifically stated that Medic was not a Nazi. And over the years, I've seen plenty of people state this as if it's a fact. But, there's no real source for it. The only thing close to a source that I could find is a 4chan post from 2009 of someone who supposedly went to Valve and asked. And that means absolutely nothing. Valve has never made a statement on it, and it's never been brought up in the TF2 storyline. One possible hint might be the description of Medic's mountain cap which would seem to suggest that Medic was in the military, but I don't know if I consider a random hat description to be some kind of definitive answer. And I mean, hey, if he did fight, it's completely possible that he was just drafted. It doesn't necessarily mean he agreed with Nazi ideology. Really, given the lack of info, there are a lot of possibilities. But would Valve actually make one of the main characters of their games a legit Nazi? I kind of doubt it. Though, if we're being real, it's totally in Medic's character to be a Dr. Mengele type, I imagine any chance he'd get to experiment on humans, Medic would probably take it. He's not exactly evil or anything, he just doesn't have any sort of respect for human dignity, is all. Okay, maybe he is kind of evil, but not necessarily more so than any of the other mercenaries. Okay, maybe he is, but just by a little bit. Again though, even if Medic has done some shady things in the past, I really doubt they'd go that far with it. All I'm saying is, that sure is a conveniently placed nose shot he've got there. I'm on to you. So basically, aside from some minor hints and speculation, we don't know much about what Medic did before he became a mercenary. But we know for a fact that he was raised in Stuttgart, Germany. Though, in the Two Cities update, it claimed that Rottenburg was his hometown. Most likely just meaning that he was born in Rottenburg and moved to Stuttgart. And unlike most of the other classes, we really don't know anything about Medic's family. They've never been mentioned. Demo Man does have a Medic-specific domination line that mentions a wife, and it's possible that Medic has a wife, 
but it could also just be Demo Man's drunken ramblings, so who knows. Medic is obviously pretty good friends with the Heavy, and is seen working on experiments with Engineer in both Expiration Date and the comic Gargoyles and Gravel. He seems to, for the most part, regard his team as friends, but he also refers to them as experiments. And he doesn't seem to have any issue hunting them down when he joins the Team Fortress Classic team. But it's like he says, black market organs from exotic animals ain't cheap. Human experimentation is an expensive habit, and sometimes you just gotta hunt down your old teammates to pay for it. Medic also has quite the affinity for doves, with his main one being Archimedes. Apparently the Medic got his doves from a catering van that he stole from a Prime Minister's wedding. Which Prime Minister? Of what country? I don't know. When did this happen? Not a clue. But apparently doves in captivity can live to be around 20, so that might narrow it down. And I'm assuming, based on the description, that the Prime Minister was in office when they got married. So if you want to try to find a Prime Minister who fits that description, be my guest. So there's something I've wanted to talk about for the last few of these history videos, but I guess Medic might be the best time. Several main characters have died in the TF2 storyline where we've seen what happened after. Medic, Sniper, Scout, and the Man Brothers all have different versions of an afterlife. Scout goes to heaven where God basically confirms everything Scout thinks about himself, and they have foosball. In Sniper's heaven, his adoptive parents more or less accept his job and tell him that he's a professional. When Medic goes to hell, he outsmarts the devil, and the Man Brothers' ghosts continue fighting. So in a way, it might just be that they're seeing what they want to see. It's hard to tell what's legitimately real or not. The Medic himself even suggests that what Sniper saw was a hallucination. And Halloween events complicate this a little bit more. Souls and Hell exist on Halloween maps, but isn't the Bominomicon the devil? He claims to be. Medic apparently has nine souls, eight of which he presumably took from the other mercenaries. And that's why he can't go to Hell, and that's why the mercenaries won't stay dead. Is that real? Who knows? It's just kind of up to interpretation. And now, let's do a timeline of the major events in the Medic's life. That we know of. Medic is born in Rottenburg, probably sometime in the 1920s. At some point, Medic moves to Stuttgart, where he presumably spends most of his childhood. Later on, after becoming a doctor, Medic removes the skeleton of one of his patients. This leads to him losing his medical license, which may or may not have been real. He's never heard from again. Medic later steals a catering van from some Prime Minister's wedding. In that catering van was Archimedes, and probably Medic's other doves. In 1968, the Medic and eight other mercenaries are hired by Red and Blue to fight over the Badlands of New Mexico. After some trial and error, Medic develops a hard attachment for the mercenaries that allows them to become ubercharged. Sometime in 1971, Medic and the Engineer perform experiments with the teleporters. They discover that the teleporters may be giving the mercenaries tumors. But it's all okay because it only gives bread tumors. It also mutates bread into monsters. Huh. Later in 1971, Redman and Blutark Man are killed by Grey Man, leaving Medic and the team out of a job. They're almost immediately rehired by Saxon Hale to defend Manco. In 1972, Grey Man takes control of Manco and the team is out of work again. Medic joins the Team Fortress Classic team and is hired by Grey Man to track down the Administrator and the other mercenaries. They follow Sniper, Miss Pauling, Spy, Pyro, Demo, Zana, and Soldier to New Zealand, kill Sniper, and capture the rest. Back at Grey Gravel Co., Medic defies modern medicine and brings Sniper back to life. The TFC Heavy isn't super happy that he revives someone who they killed on purpose, crushes Archimedes, and tells Medic to stay behind. Medic rejoins his old team and helps them fight the robots. But the TFC Heavy finds him and wants Medic to help him attach Grey Man's life-extending device to himself. And they fight. The TF2 Heavy rescues Medic, and the TFC Heavy pulls out a gun and shoots Medic. He sorta dies. Medic goes to hell, tells the devil he only owns one-ninth of his soul, and bargains with the devil to send him back to Earth. Medic's not dead anymore, he distracts the TFC Heavy, they beat the TFC team, and... That's it! To be continued! At some point. I hope. And that was it! Most of what we know about the Medic comes from after the main events of the game start. So, unfortunately, most of his past can only really be speculation. At least for now. But that was, more or less, the complete history of the Medic. Who do you want to see next? Write it in the comments! I figure we'll probably do another Mercenary next time, and then after that, maybe a non-playable character. But until then... Peace out, dogs.